Hi guys, so welcome to another tutorial on IT Door Tutorials. I am Josef Botnar. I'm continuing the series of DAP uh, Illustrator tutorials. This tutorial has the goal to talk about Shaper Tool. This uh, Shaper Tool uh, was uh, meant to be used together with a Troy tablet or a touch uh, screen. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, you uh, still be able uh, to use it uh, with a mouse, but uh, it's more difficult to draw with a, a mouse. Yeah, the idea of using this uh, shaper tool is that uh, when uh, you draw uh, some uh, shapes, uh, the shaper tool uh, will uh, make a perfect shape, even uh, your shape uh, is not uh, perfect uh, after your uh, drawing. So let's uh, start a new document. Uh, and in this way you will understand better uh, how this uh, shaper tool uh, works so click on create new uh, select the print a4 landscape and click on create here you go this is the shaper tool here uh, this shaper tool is located uh, within this uh, uh, tool panel click on the uh, white uh, arrow and hold for a while uh, the left side of the mouse and select the shaper tool. You have uh, another tools here, as you can see, pencil tool, smooth tool, and so on. But uh, the goal of this tutorial is to talk about shaper tool. So select shaper tool and uh, let's go inside the uh, document. And uh, I'm going to yeah, draw uh, a uh, little uh, fir tree. And I'm going to start uh, with a uh, rectangle down here. As you can see, my lines are not uh, perfect. Okay, and uh, here you go. Now you can see how uh, the Shaper tool is able to create uh, a uh, perfect rectangle, a uh, perfect uh, shape, even uh, your shape uh, is not uh, perfect. Yeah. So let's uh, select this uh, rectangle and let's uh, resize it. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna to draw three angles above of this uh, rectangle. Oops, quite rubbish my uh, rectangle, uh, my uh, triangle. But even that, as you can see, the shaper uh, tool was able to create a perfect uh, triangle. Let's select it. So you're still able to select an individual uh, shape. Yeah. So let's uh, make it uh, bigger, the width. All right. Okay. So uh, let's click uh, outside the selection. Another uh, triangle here. Here you go. Okay, another triangle. And here is the last one. Okay. I'm going to resize them. It looks uh, quite good. And now I'm going to do, um, draw a scribble line here inside. Okay. Here you go. Now, as you can see, uh, my uh, shape uh, looks uh, closer to a uh, fir uh, tree, yeah, because uh, this part uh, disappeared after I draw that uh, scribble line, as you can uh, see. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to click uh, here inside uh, these uh, three angles, and as you can see, all uh, these shapes, all this um, fir tree was uh, selected uh, by uh, Shaper tool. All right, and uh, I'm still able uh, to select uh, part uh, of uh, these shapes. If I want to select the above uh, part of this uh, fir tree, I mean uh, these uh, three angles, so, uh, just I give a click inside uh, these uh, three angles. And as you can see, this uh, part which uh, contains uh, these uh, three angles was uh, selected and the rectangle uh, wasn't selected, yeah. And now I'm able to fill uh, this uh, part, I mean these triangles, with a color. I'm going to use the green color, yeah. 
this one I think it's quite uh, suitable and let's click outside of this selection yeah and now here you go click inside again uh, my uh, third tree was selected all uh, these shapes were selected and I'm still able to select a, an individual shape like I'm gonna to select this one here uh, okay because I think uh, it's too large okay now I'm gonna to select uh, rectangle yeah click on uh, inside the rectangle as you have seen and now you can uh, fill in this with some color like uh, I'm gonna use this brown color yeah click outside uh, of uh, the selection and here you go I'm gonna to draw a few circles here all right A bigger one here. Let's draw a scribble line. Here you go. Select uh, all these shapes. Let's make this bigger. All right. Let's draw a scribble line. All right. I'm going to eliminate the stroke for these uh, circles. Yeah. To put none. This one as well. All right. So here you go. So this is the use uh, of this uh, shaper uh, tool. You can uh, draw various uh, shapes and the shaper tool will help you to create a perfect uh, shape like a perfect uh, triangle, perfect rectangle or circle and so on. Uh, I um, create this uh, fur, uh, little fur uh, tree with uh, clouds uh, using this uh, shaper tool. Thanks uh, for watching this video tutorial. I'm waiting for you to watch uh, another video tutorials. Uh, on my uh, channel. Bye-bye. See you all next time.